A U.S. Navy fleet is headed toward North Korea after all. That's been confirmed by the White House today. This follows confusion when President Trump first claimed the Armada was on its way toward the Korean Peninsula, but it later turned out the U.S. ships were in fact going in the opposite direction. All this while tensions in Korea are still high, with Russia reportedly strengthening its Far Eastern border. RT's Alexei Arshavsky reports. Just days after U.S. missile strike on a Syrian airbase, President Trump, in a televised interview, made further show of force kind of comments that U.S. naval fleet was heading towards the Korean Peninsula. We are sending an armada, very powerful. We have submarines, very powerful, far more powerful than the aircraft carrier, that I can tell you. The problem is that it actually wasn't at that time. New York Times revealed that when Trump and a number of officials made the claim, U.S. carrier Carl Vinson, along with three other warships, were in fact heading to the opposite direction to take part in joint exercise with the Australian Navy in the Indian Ocean. And that blip could have stayed unnoticed if the Navy itself did not post a picture of the vessel last Saturday, saying it was made while Carl Vinson was passing through Sunda Strait off the coast of Indonesia. The, ultimate, the untimely and uncoordinated announcement sent a lot of blushes onto the faces of the Pentagon officials, but now the White House says the armada is finally headed to the Sea of Japan. I believe that he might have spoken too quickly on this uh, location of the vessel um, no, before it, it was actually President arriving. President said we have an armada going towards the peninsula. That's a fact. It happened. It is happening, rather. It was announced that it was going. It will be there. Um, we were asked simply a question on that. I think all other questions should be asked of the Department of Defense. Right. The new war in Korea did not break out last weekend with a reported missile test by Pyongyang resulting in a failure. But North Korean officials still prefer to saber rattle, saying they might hold such tests on a weekly basis and are ready for a full-blown military action against the United States. It even shows a propaganda video of destroying a U.S. city and burning the U.S. 